Okay, so this question is about the nerve that is responsible for the adjustments taking place in the accommodation reflex. This diagram shows how the accommodation reflex is tested. And in testing the accommodation reflex, the patient is asked to look in the distance and then immediately look at an object, which is usually a finger that is held about a foot from the eyes. This will result in three adjustments. Distance, a close object. First of all is the pupillary constriction. And this is to sharpen the image on the retina. And then you can see here that there is adduction of the uh, eyeballs. And uh, this is what we call convergence. And then th there is increased convexity of the lens, which cannot actually be detected. But in fact, it takes place increased convexity of the lens to increase the refractive power in order to look at near objects. So the nerve that is responsible for, for that is not the ophthalmic nerve because the ophthalmic nerve is only sensory and it does not have any motor component. The trochlear nerve, uh, actually it supplies only the superior oblique muscle and the superior oblique uh, uh, moves the eyeball uh, downwards and uh, laterally. And uh, so it's not the trochlear nerve. The abducent nerve causes an abduction of the eye. So it moves the eye laterally because it supplies the lateral rectus muscle. The sympathetic trunk, uh, the sympathetic trunk acts on the pupil, but uh, stimulation of the sympathetic uh, fibers will result in uh, dil dilatation of the pupil and also the wide gaze uh, because of its effect on the smooth muscle part of levator palpebri superioris and uh, the dilatation of the pupil is due to the uh, uh, action of the sympathetic trunk uh, on the dilator pupillae muscle and this is required for far vision it is not does not cause a constriction of the pupil so the nerve here is the oculomotor nerve and the idea that the oculomotor nerve here can serve these three adjustments is that the oculomotor nerve first it carries parasympathetic fibers so these parasympathetic fibers they will cause they supply the sphincter pupillae muscle and will cause pupillary constriction and uh, also these parasympathetic fibers will supply the ciliary muscle and the ciliary muscle when it contracts it will cause increase in the convexity of the lens because of the relaxation of the zonular fibers so again these fibers are carried by the oculomotor nerve in fact they are these fibers are not derived from the motor nucleus of the oculomotor nerve which is located in the brain stem but they are located from or they are derived from a nearby nucleus which is called the edinger westphal nucleus and the fibers will accompany the oculomotor nerve the other component or the other adjustment that is required for uh, this uh, uh, reflex to take place is the adduction of the eyeball and this is served by the medial rectus muscle two medial recti muscles and uh, these the medial rectus is uh, uh, supplied by the oculomotor nerve so you can see here that the sphincter pupillae the medial rectus and the ciliary muscle they are all supplied by fibers of the oculomotor nerve and uh, hence the oculomotor nerve is responsible for these three adjustments thank you